as well. A lot of people were asking about the Joey Molina podcast. Do you want to elaborate on that? How do you feel about that? Joey Molina? Mm -hmm. I heard about it. I actually saw it the other day. Um, he seems to know a lot about uh, sports. Um, I didn't know him well. I knew his father very well. He was the underboss on the Nicky Scarfo for a while. Um, and I think he's doing you know, the right thing. He's, there's money to be made. Um, he's doing a sports show. Um, some people are complaining about him. Some of the same people who complain about me are complaining about him and putting him down. And I don't see why. I really don't. First of all, he does have some street credentials. He's a little bit of a tough guy. If he's anything like his father, he is a tough guy. And he's doing a show and not bothering anybody. So there's these people that want to just put people down all the time. And uh, I'm not one of them. I think he's doing a great job. Matter of fact, uh, if he ever wanted to come on my platform and talk with me and whatever, the, the, he's got an open invitation. So if, if what I know of him, I think he's a good guy and he's doing the right thing. He's making some legitimate money. What do you want him to do? Go shake people down or do f***ed up things? He's doing the right thing and more power to him. Uh, KM in the super chat. KM, we kind of touched on this already earlier, but he said, I just got here. Any thoughts on the Joey Merlino from the <coughs> Philly Mob and his new podcast, The Skinny? Listen, I, I commented on it before. I'll comment real quick about it this time. I heard him talk. He's a great talker. He knows sports. I don't think he's doing the wrong thing. He's not saying anything bad. He's not putting anybody down. He's not, you know, he's talking about um, people, excessive crimes, almost like prison reform. I'm doing the same exact thing. I think he's doing great things with that. He's going to do something about rats. I don't know whether it's in his case. Somebody ratted on him. I don't know the story. Uh, but I don't think he's doing anything wrong. He's making a buck. There's a lot of guys out there making a buck. What bothers me that I heard a lot of people, a couple of people, and I don't want to mention names, knocking them for it. I mean, I don't see why. You're a jealous, envious f Let him do it. And he's making a buck. He's not bothering nobody. He's not doing anything wrong. So I wish him the best. I didn't know him personally. I know his father very well, um, Chucky. Uh, Molino. He was the underboss on the Nicky Scuffle for a while. So that's my opinion about him. I heard it. I, he obviously knows a lot about sports. He knows a hell of a lot more than me. I was listening to him. He's pretty good at it. He seems like a good talker. And uh, so I, I don't think there's anything wrong with what he's doing. What I think is wrong is that people are trying to put him down. Same people who were doing the same thing. To try to make a buck. Why would you put him down? Let him do it. And like I said before, and I'll say it again, if he ever wants to come on my show to talk to me, and I, I, he's got an open invitation. So I, 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 I like the guy. You're a rat. You know you're a rat. Like, same thing with Sammy the Bull. Listen, do me a favor, all you rat mother Do not invite me on your show. Don't even, you're insulting me. I wouldn't, I wouldn't yeah. pee on you if you were on fire. Leave my name out of your mouth and go about your own business. He's all. I'm done with this. Okay, we have a question about the Joey Merlino podcast. Let's see. Uh. I know. I didn't. Uh, I keep, he keeps bugging about it. Hey, no, no. the whack real caught uh, Sammy, apologize if you already talked about this, but what are your thoughts on the Joey Merlino from Philly and any dealings in the past? And would you ever sit down with him as a guest on his new podcast? I didn't know him. I know his father. When there was the war in Philadelphia, I was involved in the war in Philadelphia. I knew his father well. I didn't know him. Um, he talks about rats. Uh, now he's talking about that. I don't know what he's doing. I know his uncle was a rat, and they killed him. So when you're talking about rats, turn around and look at your family, and look at, you know, and look at what you're doing. It's not a rat movie, it's not a rat. I'm not calling him a rat. But you're a boss, supposedly, if you are. And you're doing this? It's a disgrace to go to Nostra. What you're doing. If you're a boss, be a boss. You got money, 
Sit back and be a boss. Act like a boss. Or quit. Or rat. So you can come out and talk like everybody else if that's what you want to do. But I, I don't agree with it. I, I never bad mounted them. I think everybody's got the right to do what they want to do. But um, at one point, you've got to make up your mind. If you're in the life and you took the oath and you didn't cooperate, I take your word for that, then shut the f up and act like a boss. They just did a program on how to be a boss. <laughs> they talked about what John did. You're doing the same f***ing thing. So, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't agree with it. I don't dislike him. Uh, I think uh, he's talking about sports. If he sticks to that, I still think it's wrong. That's just my opinion of Cousin Usher. When you look at, for example, Sammy the Bull. Right. He admitted, admitted to 19 people. Right. You know, in terms of his... Involvement in 19 murders, uh, one of which is actually his brother-in-law. How about the kid, he, the 16-year-old? He don't talk about that. He, the 16-year-old yeah, innocent kid. He ended up getting five years because for his, you know, he, he cooperated against a bunch of mafia bosses. I mean, he was going on a, a tour of taking the stand whenever they wanted to in order to achieve that. What's your take on well, he got five years. He killed 18 people. You do the math. That's, what do you get? Th three months of murder. You get more for drunk driving. Right? You get more for drunk driving. Three months. Three months of murder he got. That's like taking Bin Laden to get his underlings. Would they give Bin Laden a deal? He went and told all people. I mean, listen. They all got the same shit. Franchisi, Sammy the Bull. All, I don't even know. Sakali, whatever. They're all... Uh, that fat kid, Ruggiero, or whatever the fuck his name, he said they changed their life. That's what they say. Yeah, they changed their life when the fucking handcuffs went on them. Let me ask you a question. If Sammy the Bull and all them, whatever the, the names are, Franchese, all these rats never got locked up, where would they be right now? You tell me. Uh, I'm not sure. Probably doing the same thing they were doing yeah, before so they got Philly locked and Eddie, up. Yeah, Philly and Eddie, his mother used to love it when they called them. They used to write in the paper, full crazy Philly and Eddie. She loved it. He would be in Atlantic City. Sammy the Bull be on Mulberry Street. Franchese, now he found God. They all found God. This You didn't find, when you were robbing the fucking government out of gas money, you didn't find God. You didn't go to church and give them no fucking money. You were a tough guy walking around New York. So they didn't, they didn't change. The handcuffs changed them when they got locked up. That's the fucking bottom line. They could say whatever they want just to try to justify it. This guy said this. This guy was going to kill me. This guy talked, didn't give my wife. Ralph used to say it. I went to jail. They didn't give me no money. They all got to say, there's no excuse. They were going to jail. If Ralph didn't go to jail, if he didn't get locked up, he'd be walking around like Hitler. Well, yeah, I mean, I've, I've interviewed, I mean, easily over 100 people that have cooperated for various reasons. And it's always like, I would have gone to jail yeah. and done 500 years yeah. <laughs> until... I heard the tape of John Gotti saying that he's going to turn on me. And then right. at that point, I cooperated against everyone. And it's like, well, you Actually, didn't just cooperate against Gotti. You cooperated against all these other people yeah. that did, didn't say anything about you. Yeah. And it's like, well, but it's not just me. I was just one of many and, yeah. and so That's forth. It. There's always a great excuse to cooperate. They and always, and it's, always, it's always, I would have done it except that this one thing, and that made me go completely in the opposite direction. You're 100% right. The, the, what, listen, they can say all well, everything they want, money. All this, this, that. The main thing is when them handcuffs went on them, when they got indicted, that was it. They were telling them. If yeah. they didn't get indicted, they'd still be out right now. They, they'd be wherever the f they still be doing what they were doing. So it's all shit when they say, you know, I changed my life. You didn't change your life. The handcuffs changed your life. I'm the same guy. I got indicted five times. Nothing changed my life. I'm the same guy. You that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and check out more of our content. Feel free to give your feedback and suggestions on what we should do next in the comments. This is Infinite Lee Productions. We love ya.